Hey there football fans, welcome back to Football News Center. Today we're talking about England's lackluster win over Malta. It was a victory, but boy was it a slow and uneventful match. England struggled to create chances throughout the game, with their first shot on target coming in the 64th minute. It was a routine save for the Malta goalkeeper, Henry Bonello. The only goal of the match came from an own goal forced by Phil Foden in the 8th minute, and England just coasted from there. Now, to be fair, England had already secured qualification for the Euro finals next summer, so the pressure was off. The Wembley crowd seemed relaxed and not too bothered by the lack of goals. In fact, they were doing Mexican waves and throwing paper planes. It was that kind of game. Harry Kane, the England captain, had a bit of a frustrating match. He was yellow carded for what the referee saw as a dive in the 28th minute, although there was clear contact. But Kane had the last laugh when he scored the second goal for England with a beautiful team move. Gareth Southgate, the England manager, started with an experimental midfield, but it didn't quite work out. Jordan Henderson, who was holding in midfield, didn't have a great game and was even booed when he was substituted. It was a missed opportunity for Connor Gallagher, who was withdrawn at halftime. The highlight of the midfield was Trent Alexander Arnold's passing. Malta actually had a chance to score in the first minute, but luckily for England, it went just wide. After that, it was all England, but they lacked precision and incision in their attacks. Marcus Rashford had a tough night and couldn't really get anything going. In the second half, Southgate made some substitutions to try and liven up the game. Kyle Walker and Bukayo Saka were brought on, and Foden was given a more central role. It paid off when Saka provided a fantastic assist for Kane to score his 62nd England goal. Unfortunately, a goal from Declan Rice was disallowed by VAR due to an offside position. So, in the end, it was a win for England, but not a particularly exciting one. The focus now shifts to the Euro finals next summer, where England is likely to be among the top seeds. Let's hope they can bring more excitement and quality to their game. That's all for today, folks. Stay tuned to Football News Center for more updates.